Bonjour. Je pense que je pense que that I might have some advice for up and coming journalists that is contrary to what you're being told. I would say submit freelance articles to Deadspin. If you're an up and coming journalist that wants to get their work out to a broad audience, submit your articles to Deadspin right now because they've had all their employees walk out in mass and they need content. I think it was Thomas Jefferson that said opportunity is when luck meets preparedness. Well, here's your opportunity in life, young journalist. But what about, you might say, all the, the fracas on Twitter? All the ex-former Deadspin reporters brigading <laughs> Alan Goldshire, who, who, who took it upon himself at the gumption to submit a freelance article on Thursday when everybody was quitting Deadspin. And then Deadspin ran the article on Friday, and all these journalists got in a little huff. How dare, how dare this, this man from Chicago submit work? <laughs> how dare he seize upon this opportunity, recognizing that a media company whose goal is to distribute content might now need content. Well, they ratioed him on Twitter when he tried to share his article. They so, you know, condemned him, how could you do this? We walked out on principle. Principle is for the privilege that most journalists enjoy. If you want to talk about diversity, the fact that everybody in the Deadspin newsroom has the ability to simply walk out is a privilege of class. It shows how much class diversity exists in journalism. Nonetheless, if you perhaps do not come from as fortunate circumstances that allows you to just quit your job at any moment and you're trying to break into journalism, I suggest <clears throat> that you submit freelance articles. And if you see individuals on Twitter, say, like Pete Carato, who has 2,500 likes for this tweet, if you're a freelance writer who's been approached to write for at Deadspin, don't do it. Instead, email me and I'll give you an editor or contact or two that takes pitches and works with freelancers. Why would you give it to him? <laughs> So maybe he can take a cut off your paycheck on top of it. You have no idea what his interests are in this. On top of that, now is your power to leverage against Deadspin. Deadspin needs content. You want to write freelance articles for Deadspin? Charge them more money. But if you're still hesitant to offend any of the journalists that had left Deadspin, or you're not sure that if you want to get ratioed or brigaded on Twitter, that submitting articles to Deadspin might test your ethical principles, perhaps you should not be in journalism. Because I guarantee journalism on the national scale, there will be things that will test your ethical principles far more than submitting freelance articles to Deadspin. This is an opportunity for young up-and-coming journalists. You should take it. That's my advice. And do you want to get your article on Deadspin, and they run it, and they publish it, and you're getting brigaded? Tweet me. I'll reshare it. I'll share your article. I get it. Not everybody comes from Vassar or a great college where then they have three internships in college at nice New York or LA, DC media firms, and then they get jobs that they can just leave. That's not what it's like for many, many people that want to be in media or journalism. They don't have the luxury. <laughs> in fact, they would, they would die for the opportunity to even have a job at Deadspin. And so I encourage you, take this opportunity. Now that there's a gap to fill in content, submit content, forget what other people may say. Let them take their vainglory and their integrity, as is their right. But you can take this opportunity. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video or agree with this video, hit like. If you disagree with this video, hit like. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.